If you duplicated these water balloons as they are, they would be a lot of fun, but they would quickly eat up your world's capacity. To optimize, we can reuse the sound and visual effects across a group of balloons. To get started, let's zoom into the grouping. Select both the visual and sound effects and bring them out, clicking Zoom Out. Now in our script, we will move these on collision with the player. To do this, on the Motions tab, under Instant Motion, bring Move To over to the Collision with Player event. On our Operators tab, about halfway down under Object Transformation is Position of Object. Replace the vector value with this code block. And then, from our Values tab, we can bring Self into the Empty Object slot. Duplicate the Move To code block, and from our Variables tab, we can define what is being moved. By dragging the sound and visual effect variables onto the left side of each of the move to events. Like that, our script is more efficient. Let's try it out and make sure it works. Awesome! Now, when we duplicate the water balloon, it will stay referenced to the sound and visual effects. I recommend that we duplicate a set of 5 to 10 balloons. And then we duplicate another set, but with the sound and visual effects. We can paint these different colors. And now each team has a set of water balloons and their own effects to improve the visual look and feel. Now we are ready for a water balloon fight. 